Hi right, guys, so it's been a while since I've done like an anime review kind of thing, and this isn't really a review, but it'd be more like a more of a prediction of my favorite anime, kind of like I did last season with Kimetsu no Yaiba, which I think was pretty spot on. Sometimes I am wrong though, because there was one anime I watched back in the day where the kids paid for things with points that they got for grades or whatever they did, and that was kind of lame. It ended up being lame. I thought it was going to be like dark, but it really wasn't. Um, but today we're going to be talking about BEM, B E M. And it's a really easy name, easy to remember, which is always nice. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Um, but BIM is really interesting because it's a show where there's these three characters, their main characters, and they're trying to become human. So they have human forms, but apparently they're um, monsters in this area called the Outer. There's like the Outer, the Upper, and the Lower, I guess. And depending on which... Uh, area you're in is what kind of monster lives or kind of thing that lives there because the upper seems to be like the normal people the lower seems to be like the uh, poor people and then the outer seems to be the monsters. so the monsters want to become humans one thing that's really interesting though is that the monster the three main characters don't look like main character monsters they look like a monster that would be like a, a henchman to something like a not a main, like not even a main bad guy. It's just to me, they look like they're just regular monsters, which is actually really interesting to me because even if you look at like Zatman or anything like that, usually the monster looks like some. If it's a main character, at least looks crazy badass. So that's really cool and interesting, and it kind of reminds me of a uh, crap. I forgot the name of it again. Wait a second. Blood Blockade Battlefront. So blood, blood. Or Kekai Simpson, that's easier to say. Um, and Cowboy Bebop to an extent. And how, in both of those shows to me, it feels like the pattern was that there were episodes that focus on characters that give you backstory and like personality traits of the character. You learn more about them. And then there was like an overarching like uh, theme at the end of it. Like with uh, Spike uh, and his uh, organization where he's trying to get back at Vengeance, I think his name is. It's been so long since I watched it. Vengeance? I can't remember. And then um, in Blood Blockade Bear Gate, uh, Battlefront, it's about that uh, blonde haired girl and what happened to her at the end of season one. So I really like that. I like when they wrap it all up to like some overarching plot, but it doesn't seem like the whole show doesn't focus on it the whole time. There's other things that are going on that let you learn more about the characters just by watching the way they act and interact with things and more about their history. So that's a good start for me. There's only two episodes out right now, but I really do believe this is going to be my favorite anime of the se uh, season. Because honestly, I've been struggling to find anything to watch that I want to watch because there was one that I thought had an interesting plot synopsis where they were supposed to be competing for some kind of inheritance or something, but then I found out it was a Fate anime. I really don't like the Fate anime series at all. I watched the Zero, which was okay, until they killed off my favorite character and like some... Uh, he got... He got stomped. I did not like it. I was like, God dang, that's the only character I like in this whole show and he just got beaten. Uh, unfortunate. Um, and then there was Stay Day Night, which was just awful. They so bad they had to. Uh, I just really didn't like that one. I don't think I even finished that one, and I didn't watch Unlimited Play Works, even though my buddy wanted me to. I was just like, no, I'm done with Fate, done with Fate. Uh, so I didn't watch that, but I'm having a real hard time finding an anime to watch this season, except for Bim. Bim looks really good so far. The plot seems pretty dark, like, there are episodes that are dark. Which is good. That's kind of like that uh, uh, Kekai Simpson. We're gonna just going to call it Kekai Simpson because blood blockade battlefront's hard to say. But um, where people will die in the show, it's definitely if you're not a main character, if you're not a main character, you have a very short life expectancy. If you're part of like the case or the whatever the episode's focusing on. And it's been pretty heavy so far for, since episode two. Episode one was just, I, episode two was, I thought, really good. I liked it. Um, so I definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out yet. Also, so, uh, in the future, I'm wanting to review an anime. I can't remember what it's called. I'll look it up and try to review it. But it was a historical piece where the Mongols are raiding like an island in Japan. It was really well done. I really enjoyed that. And then I've been watching Fruit Baskets 2019, which is really good so far. I watched the old one, but something I like about the new one 
it's been so long since I watched the old one, but the old one didn't feel like it flowed very well to me. But the new one feels like it flows really well. I've really enjoyed watching it so far. And I really like those sappy kind of romance animes anyway, so I don't think I liked them as much as a kid. That might be why I didn't like it. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do an anime kind of like talk video. I haven't done one in so long. And uh, let me see. There was another thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, some point I want to review Shield Hero because I haven't done that yet. I've finished it. I haven't reviewed it. I don't know if I want to review it just because I know there will be another season for it because it was wildly popular. It was really good, but yeah. I need to get back to doing the anime review videos because I like doing these as well. And also, if you've seen anything that looks interesting this season, recommend it to me because I'm struggling. Like, I usually I'll go by like the picture that I see on the page and none of them have really caught my interest except for that one fate anime that ended up being a fate anime and this BIM. But BIM's been really good. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to finishing. Yeah, I need to finish Dororo too because I like stopped halfway through. And I was waiting for it to finish, and I know it finished now, so I do need to do that. Even though I know it's going to be really upsetting. But thanks again for watching, as always, guys. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye! <laughs> Losing my voice. <laughs>